Interest rates tumble, giving the buyers a gift of newfound home affordability this holiday season. We're going to talk about that and much more in this week's update. Hi, I'm Tony Meyer with Windermere Real Estate. For 34 years, I've been an avid study of the real estate market, helping our clients make smart and educated, profitable real estate decisions. We're going to help you do the same this week. We're going to talk about rates for sale and pending, months of inventory, median sales price, and tell you how the market has changed over the last year. So first up is interest rates. It wasn't but just a little over a month ago we were worried that rates were headed over 8% where they were just touching that. And now we're flirting with 7% again. Every 1% change in interest rate gives a buyer either 10% more buying power or 10% less buying power. So buyers have gotten the gift of affordability uh, this holiday season and we'll see what that means for our spring market ahead. If rates continue to drop, odds are we're going to be in a very strong Probably seller's market again, I hate to say it, for those buyers out there who've been waiting and hoping the market's not going to change. But if rates continue to drop, that's the likely direction we're headed in. Next up is inventory. We're down 39% from 2022. My oh my, what a difference a year makes. Inventory is declining this time of year as we expect. It's down 6% from last week. And we'll expect that to continue through the rest of the year here. Our pending sales also went down quite a bit, mind you, Thanksgiving but we're still up 18% from the same week one year ago. So much better market, lower inventory, higher pending sales, dramatically different in dynamics than a year ago. Uh, months of inventory, and this really tells the story here. Yes, we ticked up to 2.35 months of inventory last week, uh, but you can see one year ago we were sitting at 456 uh, a lot of people were afraid the market was just going to fall apart and crumble, and it, of course it hasn't done that. But at 4.56 months of inventory, that was a buyer's market. We are barely flirting with balanced at this point. So again, things are different. If you are hoping this market is going to fall off a cliff, like some of the news reports are telling you it is, there just is no information to, to support that. So look past the headlines, look at the real numbers, and make your own decisions. Uh, last up is median price. We're up 9% from 2022, off a little bit from last week, uh, down 7%. Uh, but again, still up from 9% 2022. That means it's 9% more expensive to buy a home today. Again, waiting was not a good decision if you made that choice. If you have questions about the market, we're here to help you understand past the headlines, the realities of the real estate market. If you'd like to know what's happening in your neighborhood, you're considering buying, considering selling in the new year, we're here to help get you connected with the right information so you can make the right decisions. And of course, if you've yet to do so, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon for future no notifications, and share it with a friend. Thanks very much, and we'll talk with you next week. Take care.